The next aggregation expression that we're going to look at is push. Now push is very similar to add to set, except that push does not guarantee that it adds each item only once. It doesn't look through to make sure it's not already there. So let's say that we wanted to see what categories each manufacturer had products in. And this is looking at our little electronics products database that, that we created before, our little collection, where we have a document for each product and it has a category and a manufacturer. And this time, rather than using add the set, we're going we're gonna to use push. So if we do that, push the category, it shouldn't be too surprising, the result we get. What we get is that we have a document for each maker, like or manufacturer, Google, tablets, Amazon tablets, tablets. But you'll see these duplications, tablets, tablets. And we'll see with Apple, it's tablets, 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 laptops. And that's because there are four documents with Apple in it. And it's going to look at each one, and it's going to push this item onto this categories array versus add it to the set. And so they may appear more than once, and this is the result. It depends on what your goal is. This might be the right result or the wrong result, depending on what you're trying to do. Now let's do a quiz. All right, given the zip code data set that we looked at before, which is explained more fully in the using dollar sum quiz from a few back, you can check it out. And it has documents that look like this, again, where each document is a postal code, or also known as a zip code here in the U.S., and it will tell you the population of that, of that postal code slash zip code, the state it's in, and the city it's in. What we're going to do is we're going to run these two different queries that are going to tell us the postal codes that map to a particular city. So we're going to group by the city, and we're going to push a list of postal codes. And the question is, if we did it two different ways, once with a push over here, and once with an add to set, would you expect it to get a different result or the same result for those two different queries? That's the question.